Morning. We are live at KKNO 750 Gospel Radio Station talking with broadcaster Mr. Delron Wilson. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, and you? Wonderful, thanks for having me. That's good. Well, I think, again, uh, it is important to have a gospel radio broadcast because of the needs of the people, mm -hmm. uh, the community that we service. I think that um, people... There are people out there who are hurting. There are people out there who need that outlet, who need the music that gospel music brings to the industry, brings to the society. Um, you know, and I don't take away from secular music, don't take away from jazz, because I love it all. But I think gospel music has a certain feel for uh, the modern day person who just need that inspiration, that encouragement. So I think it is important for uh, everybody. Okay. That's my personal belief. Okay. And what kind of information do you broadcast out of your audience on a daily basis? Um, well, uh, of course, it is a gospel station, so of course, there's always uh, local events going on in churches, uh, concerts, musicals, but in addition to that, of course, public service announcements. Uh, like right now, we're on a drive for voting. Uh, okay. That's this big old thing we're talking about now. We're counting down to voting. Uh, recently, uh, about two weeks or so ago, we were uh, pushing the drive of registering to vote because there are a lot of people who are still not registered to vote. Mm -hmm. and I think it's important. And especially for African Americans that we exercise our right to vote. You know? Okay, and Mrs. Devron, also can you can we talk a little bit about um your callers? for a few minutes. What kind of calls do you get from your callers? Well, uh, as I stated earlier, we do get those callers who are hurting, those mm -hmm. callers who just need someone to talk to. Mm -hmm. And so radio for me becomes not only just a job, but it becomes a ministry. Mm -hmm. uh, because there are people who've called several times and wanting prayer, needing somebody to talk to, somebody to just give them that outlet encouragement, and somebody just to talk to or just to listen. Mm -hmm. So in addition to being a talent, it's still also a ministry as well too, mm -hmm. you know, and um, it is important that we listen, it's important that we help encourage because again, as I stated, right. I've had people call on the verge of a break, nervous breakdown, on the verge of suicide, but it's just the music that they're inspired by. Mm -hmm. It's um, us talking, us praying, or just motivational, something I may say to motivate them, encourage them. And what is your method and style of choosing songs to play and why? Typically, on a regular broadcast day for me, I like to start a beat. You know, if I'm starting off on a Saturday morning, mm -hmm. I like to, you know, start off kind of, you know, with a little beat tempo, kind of right. get people stirring around. And I just kind of go from fast, medium to slow, fast, medium to slow. And uh, I kind of choose my music based on just the feel, the groove, what's happening, you know. And believe it or not, I'm inspired by the weather. Okay. So, <laughs> At the station, if anybody ever comes to the radio station, as you can see, I keep the blinds open when I'm here because mm -hmm. I like to vibe off the off nature. Okay. So if I see it's pretty, it's sunshiny outside. Mm -hmm. It just pumps me up and makes me, you know, just get into the groove. And right. Get into the hook. <laughs> so yeah, but if it's raining outside, then I have to kind of inspire myself and kind of just get into the feel. So just all right. Tell me, Mr. Delbron, what do you think? the world would be like without radio broadcasting? Um, I just don't believe that the world would actually, I don't think survive without radio. Mm -hmm. Because radio, again, gives you that personal will touch, that person will feel with that announcer, with that personality, right. okay. with that person that you can kind of touch and feel and just kind of feel. Because being in radio, it has taught us as announcers, as personalities, to feel our audience, to make them feel like you're talking just to them okay. and nobody else. I want to thank you, Mr. Devon, for this thank time. You for having me. Okay, welcome, and uh, for all the information you have given us today, and I wish you all the luck in the future, and getting your radio station back up 100%. Uh, also, to all the viewers out there, I would like to hope you have had an enjoyable uh, time with Mr. Devron and his interview on this morning.